Right. Let's hear number two. Okay. Number two. Allowances are earned because it teaches them that we have to put in effort to gain what we want in life instead of it being handed to us. Then, once it's earned, comes the lessons on responsibly managing your money. All right. So this goes to the heart of the, do we give allowance unconditionally or conditionally, right? And by that, I mean, conditional can be by grades, by chores, some event, something has to happen in order for them to get paid, right? They have to earn it, if you will. As opposed to actually what I've elected to do in my house from when my kids were very young, unconditional. They get allowance and they get interest no matter what, as long as we all remember and we all focus and sit down and actually do it. And then there are other people who do a hybrid of of those two approaches. I'm not going to say that this person is completely wrong. They are doing something different from what I am doing. But I think what you really have to remember, and I know I like the way that you put this very often, Julie, is remember the why. What is the point? Why are you trying to teach your child about money? What is it the, the lesson that you're after? What I think what you, what you said, so correct me if I'm wrong, was we have to put an effort to gain what we want in life, right? So if that is the lesson that she's mm-hmm. trying to teach her child by giving allowance, then I would say she is on the right path. That is not the lesson I am trying to teach my children when I give them money. I am trying to teach them that they need to be mindful spenders. They need to understand investing because it's an important part of their future. They need to understand that that giving is an important thing, right? So that's, and saving, right? They need to understand saving and they need to practice it and get good at it. That's the reason that I am giving them allowance and I've created this whole system for them. I felt like when they were very young that if I missed an allowance day, I was robbing them of the opportunity to learn at that particular time. That particular allowance day that we missed was a missed opportunity. So for me, that wouldn't make sense. That didn't work. However, I do make it mandatory. They have to do certain things. They have to empty the dishwasher. They have to clean their rooms. I mean, they have things that they have to do. I just didn't tie them to money. I didn't tie them to allowance or interest on their investment bucket. I tied it to other things. Screen time. Screen time is very valuable to them. That's what I did in my house. And it goes back to, again, that unconditional versus conditional and why. What is it you're really trying to accomplish? Yeah, I totally agree with you, Alec. I don't want my kids to ever say, I'm not going to empty the dishwasher because I don't really need that money. or I'm not going to get a good grade in that class. It's not worth it to me for that money. I think that, you know, we set up in our house expectations of what needs to be done and whose chores are what. And and when I ask for you to do something, you just you have to be a good citizen. I'm the mom. This is our house. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's how we contribute. But I think, you know, going back to the why for me is really I want my kids to understand the value of a dollar. I want them to understand how hard it is to make money, right? So if we're doing allowance and Cassidy's 11, so she's getting 11 a week, translates roughly to 44 a month. And that's not that much money. $44 in a month is not that much money. And so she's learning scarcity and all of that. When she gets a job, which she has now, walking a dog, and she's now getting $40 a week for that job, she suddenly has some point of comparison of like, what that $40 means. And yeah, she has to walk that dog eight times in a week and it is hard and she doesn't always want to do it. But is it worth it to her? And you know, she can say, no, I quit this job, which I'm not going to encourage. I'm going to discourage that heavily. But you know, at least then I know that she's making a decision based on a little bit deeper of an understanding of what work goes into what kind of money, right? Yeah, I think I think going back to the why is always going to be everybody's first, you know, resource in figuring out what their what their house rules are, what their methods are for their kids and how they keep them on yeah, track. Agreed. So just to reiterate for everybody, so right now you are purely unconditional, right? Because it's the same purpose. You want them to understand the value of a dollar and to practice being good spenders and savers and all of those things. So you're not employing any conditions right now, correct? Okay, not well, yes and no. I do offer bonuses. Cassidy sometimes will spend all her money, frequently spends all her money, and then comes to me midway through the month and says, I need to make some more money. Are there any things that I could do for you? 
I may have eight loads of laundry that I need to fold and I don't have time to do it. And it's worth it for me to offer her 10 bucks Mm -hmm. to do that or something. So it's like, what's it worth to me also? But there are opportunities to do extra things, but I'm not going to pay them to walk the dog, empty the dishwasher, take the garbage out, those kinds of things. I do think Cassidy is extremely money motivated and she does not love school. So if, you know, if that is an incentive for her that we can figure out some kind of bonus structure for grades, I'm not opposed to it, but we haven't done it that yet. It sounds like yet. you're you're striking a nice balance of the hybrid approach like I was saying. You know that no matter what, even mm-hmm. if she said I'm not doing the laundry, I don't want to help with that particular task, even though she's done all of her mandatory chores if you will, and she's getting the right grades, you still have an opportunity to teach meeting your why. But then there's also the bonus so that they can maybe do the th- the, all of the things they want to do as opposed to before they could only do very li- few of them by the by the unconditional money. So right. you're balancing them. Right. Right. And my kids are also hustlers. Both of them currently have other streams of income <laughs> beside allowance. And, you know, I do what I can to support them in that. So Cassidy wanted to walk dogs. So we now have a account on Rover and we can take jobs and she'll be the one walking them and I'll be there. But, you know, if she, if she needs some support in getting those things set up or in her bead business, getting set up on Etsy, you know, I'm I'm definitely always really encouraging them and, and driving them if I can help them get somewhere that has to do with that. So, you know, yes, I give them other opportunities to make money, but I really, really push them in the direction of making their own money Excellent. also. So lots of lots Excellent. of options. All right. 